My name is Becky Evans and this is The Door to Le Mans. Today I'm at the Alpine Techno Centre in Paris to understand exactly how much work goes into designing a race-ready hypercar. Each design starts on paper and every sketch is the designer's interpretation of the Alpine design language and regarding the purpose of the vehicle. So it can start off life looking like a spaceship but then it becomes the perfect mix between performance, regulations and the DNA of Alpine. Alpine has a rich design history and this can be seen throughout the years in many of the road and race cars carrying the same cues. Now I'm all about big wings and big wide arches. What do you think? I guess this one might make it past in this stage then. Once the initial design is down on paper, it's now time to take it to the digital stage, which is through 3D modelling or CAD. This allows the designers to see their imagination come to life. But more importantly at this stage, it means that they can do technical testing to make sure that the car meets all of the regulations. You made that a bit wider. Once the designers are fought over how it's going to look and make sure that it combines Alpine's design language and also any technical boundaries, it's time to make a clay model. Now this scale model allows them to see the design in its physical form and also gives them something to work off in real life. Using a special wrapping material called Dynoc, this allows the team to get a paint-like finish on the model and they can also make small changes by manipulating the clay. It's just like wrapping a car. I've done this before. How hard can it be? Well, I gave it my best shot. What do you guys think? Do you think it'll make it as a race car one day?